Hello and welcome back. This time we're talking about machine to machine interface. Okay. Two automated systems, two machines are talking to each other. Okay. Well, before we really talk about the technique behind, let's think why are they doing this? Huh? Why? Because it has some big benefits. Yeah. If the machines are talking to each other, then this discussion, there is no discussion, let's say. There's no this discussion. Uh, I don't want to do this. No, it's a request. Yes, please, I do. Or I can't because I'm busy. Okay, then I... There are benefits of it. Yeah? There are also benefits if I can sit in my office yeah, and not have to look at a screen and I get everything I need, every information I need from the process which is running and meanwhile it can run on the other end of the world, at the other end of the world. Okay? And I get almost in real time the data from there. Okay? So it started small, of course, it started small. Yeah? Small islands were automated. Yeah, small parts of the process are automated and the big thing and so on. This was not automated. Yeah? So there was, I don't know, a, an automated process here, an automated process there, and the handover must be done, have to be had to be done manually and so on. Yeah? And then there was another level above which managed those things. Yeah? Those automated things. The beginning there was just a sensor which could transfer or a measurement which could transfer its measured value to somewhere else yeah? so this was already a big step that i do not have to go to the place of measurement to read the pressure yeah i can stay in the office yeah in the control room and see the pressure which is somewhere else yeah? this was the first things yeah? this transfer, yeah? sensors, yeah? and I can push a button and suddenly a valve somewhere else has been opened, yeah? don't have to go there. Yeah? So I get the information from the field and can influence the field. Yeah? It's the field level. It was the first thing they did, they automated somehow. Yeah? And then there was the automation things where some things started to be automated. Yeah? For instance, if the pressure is too high, then I close the valve. This is automated. Yeah? So I simply have to tell the thing from my control room how much pressure I want to have there. And the whole thing, yeah, this was then still be controlled by hand. Yeah? And this was this automation level. Yeah? As parts of the plant, of the process are automated, or even a huge part of the plant is automated. And this overview needs to be done by humans. Okay. Then the humans, uh, there was automated systems developed yeah, which can control the whole process. Yeah. Process control level. Yeah. Process control level. And of course then if I have several processes running in my plant, yeah, in my factory, I want to get informed about, uh, about all those processes and so on, because at this process line I produce, I don't know, a glue at this process line, I produce a different type of glue, and at this process time, uh, line I produce the cleaner for the glue. Yeah. And it would be also be nice for the boss in this factory yeah, to get all this information and to control this information. Where do I need to purchase something and so on? Yeah, I need to purchase some chemistry and I need to purchase. I need to to repair something here and there. And this is red and this is not and so on. Yeah. So this this is a factory control level. Yeah. And then there is the enterprise control level, yeah, which is if I have several factories around the world, yeah, and somewhere sitting the big boss with a cigar in his mouth, and uh, uh, what is going on? And Oopa, baba, uba. <laughs> I don't know. Somewhere, 
uh, tell me what's going on somewhere and you have to press a button and they're popping up uh, things in Oopa Palooba. Yeah, this is then enterprise control. So these are such levels yeah? and these levels I can draw. Yeah? I can draw these levels. Yeah? So, and they're usually displayed in form of a pyramid. So the lowest level, yeah, this is the process, yeah. process level, or field level, field level. There are switches, there are actuators, there are sensors and so on. This is the field level. Yeah. And above, we said, above there is the level, automation level, yeah. automation. Where all those field signals from the from the sensors are not all but islands of it, yeah, are somehow processed, yeah, and then actuators in the field are turned, switched, turn off, turn on, and so on. Yeah, automation. Yeah. Above this, we had this process control. So there's process control. Above this, there's this factory control. Factory control. And at the top, there's the enterprise control. Hmm? They are the big G with city. Yeah. So these are these levels. Yeah. Sensors, sensors, PLCs. Yeah. These are also PLCs or maybe computers usually. Yeah. These are software systems, yeah. uh, manufacturing execution system, MES, and manu manu manufacturing uh, information systems and so on. Yeah. And here Enterprise control systems, also enterprise resource planning, resource planning ERP systems, and also software running on computers. Yeah. Once I have to tell, it's not that pyramid. There's nothing like that pyramid. Yeah. Depending on the author, there are different types of pyramids and so on, but usually they look like this. Yeah. Usually they look like this. Now, uh, for the information, uh, information part, here, in the field, the information is not that big. I have maybe the information of one measurement and one actuator and that's it. So here, information is not that big. And the further I'm reaching to the top level, here the big boss can look every to all of these things there are a lot of information is there available yeah? because a lot of information and that's how the information is distributed okay and then there's the reaction speed okay? there's the reaction speed at field level since I do not have that much information, I can react very fast. Yeah? I can react in milliseconds. No issue. The reaction speed is high. And at the top level, yeah, somebody has to process all this information and see and read something out of it. Yeah? That's not that easy. So here at top level, it maybe takes weeks yeah, for decisions. So here the speed is not that high. Yeah? So this is the speed here low information high speed here high information low speed usually okay. this is how a hierarchical system usually looks like because you know you know if you have to buy something purchase something yeah raw materials something like this 
you need to be somewhere in the factory control system, yeah, manufacturing control system, yeah. factory manufacturing control, because you need to have the overview. Yeah. Maybe people say maybe in in future this hierarchical system might be uh, broken up a little bit by smart sensors, by smart systems. If the intelligence is going to the field, yeah, then maybe the field has enough information to I don't know purchase. This is then, when it comes to money, it's getting a little bit difficult. So, this is the reason. And between all those different systems and all the horizontal and vertically, there is communication. Yeah? To enable the enterprise chief yeah? to look into the pressure sensor, yeah? a tupa paluba. There must be a connection. Must be a connection. And between all those systems, I have interfaces. And these interfaces need to be defined. Yeah? So next time, we're going to talk about what is defining, what different type of interfaces might there be. Okay, We're talking about information transmitting. transmitting yeah? Starting at the medium. Cable, for instance, does not need a cable. We will see this then next video. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.